July 14th. Service to Mike and Cecily Sunday. We're happy to have you here. Thank you so much. The last few years have been a little tough, and, I, I, and it really struck me today how much I miss people. There's been isolation and despair, but there's also been, uh, for me, a, a, a revelation as to who and what is really important in life. First time I met Cecily, she was actually over a wedding and went to the plate on the high school days. Later that afternoon, Cecily posts on Facebook, she's in a relationship with Blake Stone. And I'm like, I thought you were smarter than that. I commented back and she goes, I'm just dating him for his family. Right there and there, she won my heart. I don't usually spend a lot of time on social media, but um, I remember three or four years ago, I was scrolling through the Facebook, as the kids say, and uh, up pops this, um, this, uh, post that Cecily makes and she's on some Hawaiian beach with some buff beach <laughs> dude all tanned up and this and her caption reads if I'm right catch me if you can yeah. I'm like uh no <laughs> who is who's this dude um, and like that nosy adopted uncle that I probably am when I saw the snap of the two I wasn't, um, I wasn't quite sure about this guy. And then one day, and you've already heard this story, uh, I'm at work scrolling on my Instagram, and she's on a layover in Hawaii, and I come across a picture of her and some guy holding her on the beach, and I'm like, who is this bro? <laughs> uh, it was Blake, and fast forward a few weeks, he flew home to meet us. And it was that night at JP's that I knew that I would eventually be giving this speech. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to this beautiful venue. This place is cool, right? I mean, oh my goodness, got Cecily and Blake written all over it. Today, we take ourselves out of our usual routine, our daily routine of living, to witness a unique moment in the lives of Cecily and Blake. Today, they join their lives in the union of marriage. Blake and Cecily, it is, in your, it is your intention to be married to each other. I now ask you to declare your marriage vows. I was never the little girl that dreamed of meeting my Prince Charming, or who could picture my wedding day as some magical fairy tale. That should have been a sign to me that my dating life would go on to be nothing short of a complete disaster. <laughs> I can still remember our first official date in Honolulu so clearly. You were sweet, funny, cool, and so clearly very, very, very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Today is the next step in our relationship, but I want you to know today and every day that I will never leave your side. Forever doesn't feel like long enough to show you how much you mean to me. I promise I'll do my very best. Thank you for turning the lights back on in my heart. I'm certain it was made just for you. Whew, all right. <laughs> Cecily, I promise to always love you unconditionally. I love your laugh, your smile, and the way that you treat others. Your caring nature is one of the most amazing attributes that I've ever come in contact with. It's one of the main reasons that my love for you exists. Whew. Becoming your husband is the greatest accomplishment of my life. You really are my other half, and I am so happy to have found you. I love you with every ounce of my mind, my body, and my soul. My goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay, where is the tissue? <laughs> I forgot that part. I now pro pronounce you legally wed. Blake, you may kiss your bride.
for me, it's very important that Blake knows that he already feels like a son to us. And, um, and that commitment to the both of you is never going to change. I think, you know, I'd have to be honest. If I could, if I could keep him for myself, I'd be the same on trip, I would. I'd just keep you Blake forever. And I'd like to tie one more little blanket around your neck and have you jump off a chair and say, Mama, watch me one more time. I'd love to go to one more baseball game of yours and watch you strike out. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no. I was a pitch. I was a pitch. Excuse me, I've been looking forward to this speech for my entire life. Thank you very much. Before Cecily, Blake's plan had been to move to a base on the East Coast after his station in Hawaii. But he decided to move back to Washington to see where things were going with Cecily. It was the first time I had seen someone make the choice to build their future with Cecily and not expect her to outbend her life for them. I'm so excited to see what adventure life takes you on together. And I will always be here to cheer you on, support you, and when needed, tell either of you that you're acting like idiots. <laughs>